Hello and welcome back to the channel, Mr. Play Color right here in another exciting episode. So you guys, today I just want to show you two quick ways you can color grade your photos uh, here in Photoshop. Yeah, uh, let's get straight into it. So I have a photo here already in Photoshop and as you can see, uh, it's already skin retouched. Yeah, I'm not going to do a skin retouching uh, with you guys uh, via frequency separation. We just want to concentrate on color grading. So at this point, I assume at least you know how to do frequency separation. Yeah, but just in case you, you don't know, please go check uh, other videos where I actually uh, do frequency separation. Yeah, for this particular one, let's just go straight into color grading. Okay, so uh, the first thing we want to do is um, come here and tap gradient map. So when you click on gradient map, uh, it will open here. And what we want to do is choose a skin tone that is going to uh, you know blend well with the actual model's skin so we have an overall uh, good looking skin tone so i have a quick uh, trick for you guys so here i downloaded this uh, image from pinterest uh, this image has uh, all the skin tones in the world pretty much from the uh, lightest to the darkest tones. So what we want to do is actually find uh, find the tones where our model uh, will look best. So you just have to compare and see. So in my opinion, I think we are going to go within the tan. She falls within the tan and the dark section. So this is where we are going to pick our tone from. Now let's come back here to gradient map. Um, I don't want to enable it right away. So I'm just going to click here on the actual uh, layer and then tap. And then tap here. And then I'm going to click on this dark. Uh, this is the color stop. So on this dark side, I just want to come and pick a tone. So I want to pick a tone from this. Let me first make it a little bigger so I can uh, see very well. So again, we said we want to pick the skin tone from the tan area. So I'm going to pick this to be the dark, the dark area. Maybe let's go a little bit darker around there. And then I'm going to come to the, or oh, uh, say okay first. And then I'm going to come here onto the light side, uh, still on the same person. I'm going to pick maybe around here. I think I also want to get a mid a mid area. So we'll just press Alt on the keyboard and we split these. Uh, so we are, we want to split this and make it fifty. So that it comes into the middle and then we are also going to give it a tone a mid tone sort of so i'm using this particular face here so let's pick this as our mid mid tone yeah that looks fine to me so we're just going to say okay and uh, say okay here as well i think we are done copying from this um palette or template that we have here. So I'm just going to disable it here so it's not visible. And now I'm going to enable the gradient map again, just like that. So of course, we don't want to cover the entire image like that. Uh, what we want to do is just work on the skin. So I'm just going to invert this, uh, this mask. You just press Control I on the keyboard as a shortcut. And then we are going to pick the brush. Uh, just make sure your brush is nice and soft. And then we are going to paint <coughs> over 
our model's skin. Now, don't worry about this. I know it looks too much, but we are going to fix that just in a short while. The key is for you to at least mostly cover the skin, just like that. There's a little bit of skin in there. Yeah. And we are good to go. So yeah, uh, the next thing here you want to do is just come and change the blending mode. Now there's so many blending modes, but just look through and see what works best. Uh, soft light is usually good, uh, but I think I'm going to go with color in this particular photo. <clears throat> and then I'm going to reduce the opacity so that it's not too strong in our eyes. Just like that. I think around 30 is fine. Around 30. 30, 32. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Now, the other thing we want to do, because uh, we want to make sure this has not stained the eyes, I'm just going to um, change the brush to the black side. Just press X on the keyboard, as you can see, X, so that now we can, uh, we can uh, clean just like that. Okay. Just to make sure that the, the color did not contaminate the eyes and other places which are not meant to be painted. So there we go with the first method. So let's go ahead and check out the second method. Okay, so for the second method, what we want to do, let me first disable this. And uh, yeah, now you want to actually create a new layer, just a new plain layer. Uh, make sure it's on top, okay? And then uh, we are going to still pick the brush. Uh, this is actually a good way to like make quick uh, fixes. So the brush, uh, we want to pick not a very dark um, area. We just want to pick an area that is overall sort of mid-tone range. So I'm just going to press the eyedropper, just eye on the keyboard, and then choose a color. And then press the brush again. Okay. And then we are going to paint over uh, the model's skin. Again, this should be targeting basically the skin. Try not to paint into the hair and the teeth and, you know, just try to keep this uh, basically on the skin. Let me just zoom, uh, zoom this out so that I can quickly paint. And uh, yeah, we are pretty much done. There's a little bit of skin there. Okay, yeah, and you are done. Now, the next thing you want to do is again, change your blending mode to something that looks okay to you. Soft light actually is not so bad. Let me just reduce the opacity here and we see. Soft light is a good option. Let's try color. Mm, I like color. Yeah, just quickly, you see how fast that was, guys. Let me reduce this a little bit more, maybe to again 30. So when we compare uh, this, this, and this, pretty much the same result, just different methods. Yeah, you see that? And by the way, even, even, even in this situation where you're like using um, a brush, like the second method I've shown you guys, you can still pick color from here, from this template. So in a nutshell, that is how you color grade your photos. So let's just go uh, to before. Uh, by the way, this layer, this background layer here, I had already done some uh, color correcting in general and light adjustment. So yeah, but this is a journey and then you do frequency separation and then you finish up with a color grade. The beauty with this gradient map is that you can actually go ahead and uh, 
and change these tones to your liking yeah like you guys so you can always change or you can use other presets like now i already have presets here which i've made and i copied them from these skin tone variations that i just showed you in the template so you have the freedom to actually click through these to change that's a beauty with a gradient map yeah but um I think we are going to end this video right here. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be uh, glad to respond to them. Uh, if you're new to the channel, kindly consider subscribing. That means a lot to me. It will help this channel grow to the next level. Yeah, otherwise, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.